Everybody. My name is Ray's Chaos. You've made it back to my channel and I have got something different and special for you today. You can probably tell by the name of the video, but uh, yeah, one of my other, one of the other things that I like to collect, because I like to collect a lot of things, uh, I have a weird playing card addiction and uh, I actually have several different deck of cards do, showing off all different kinds of things um, and I don't really feel like a deck of cards is video worthy it's like you know okay here's the back of it looks pretty cool doesn't it huh? otherwise you know like but basically end up looking the same um and uh, i have several different decks of cards all in various states of <laughs> tatter or having been used but today i am going to show off one of my prized pieces of playing card collectibles and that would be my cover girls of the dc universe poker set this thing is awesome let me go ahead and get my keys out and yeah, get this thing open up let you have a quick look at it. A lot of this is still wrapped in plastic because I don't, I, you know, I almost never use it. But right off the bat, here is a quick look at what's involved. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and pull this out here because I don't have enough space. So we're going to go somewhere else and get a better look at what goes on inside this thing and we're back with the cover girls of the dc universe poker set i'm going to open this thing up so you guys can have a look at it so let's get right into it here's how it looks opened up uh, as you can see there are four different denominations as far as color chips uh, i'll give you close-ups on those there's two decks and there are six die in this set uh, pretty much any freaking poker game you want to play will encompass these so let's get a closer look on the chips and these are the poker chips as you can see there are four different denominations as i said before uh you've got the purple gold red and blue uh signifying catwoman supergirl zatanna and wonder woman there are no denominations attached to this so you it's really up to you who who you want to have as what and not really much to say about the die i mean it's a set of six die i've got several wrapped up i've got several free i just like to keep these guys together but let's move on to the meat and potatoes the actual decks and here we are we're finally there we, we have made it to the Cover goes to the DC Universe poker set, the actual decks. I'm going to go ahead and give you a better look at these. Um, I'm only going to go through one deck because they are identical except for the Jokers. So I'm going to give you a close up on the Jokers and we'll start. Right. This deck has probably the stranger joke, Joker to it. Obviously, as you can see, there is Catwoman there looking pretty ragged from... I mean, I actually remember that storyline. It, it was actually brand new when this came out. And then you've got the uh, the limited edition certificate of authenticity, which I don't know why you would use that as a joker, but, you know, I didn't design this thing. I'm just showing it off. And for deck number two, as you can see, uh, we've got the, the Catwoman again. She's back as the other joker of... Uh, I don't know why they didn't get a little bit more creative with this, but I have no complaints at all with the other one as far as the Joker being Rose and Thorn. It beats the heck out of the Certificate of Authenticity, I'll, I'll tell you that. But uh, So now you've seen the backs, now you've seen the Jokers, now it's time to get into the decks. I'm only showing one suit because they're all identical. And we're off. I went with the clubs because 
they were the ones on top. Um, yeah, they're all sorted, but uh, in this set, uh, in, in this in this whole poker set, Black Canary is the ace, which I kind of think is a little bit appropriate because she is a, she's kind of, depending on the look of your history, being how the ace can be the top or the bottom card, depending on what game you're playing. Uh, she's also one of the few characters that has flipped from Earth 1 to Earth 2, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, she's just, she even though she her actual powers are relatively limited, uh, her fighting skills are on par with the best. Then number two, we go with, uh, with we go with Poison Ivy. So, so, so that's put her right up there. And uh, number three is Batwoman, which, especially at the time, this was right about the time they debuted her. So it doesn't surprise me at all that she is down in the lower numbers. I love the amount of detail that they went into this work. And I, lo I love the, the different characters that they've used. Uh, for the number four spot, we have Starfire, a mainstay of, of the Titans since, well, a mainstay of DC since Wolfman and Perez took over, uh, took over the, up the, the Teen Titans. Um, and yeah, it's a very, very solid placing. I'm glad to see her here. Number five is Zatanna, which again, well, not again, but in my opinion, it is a rather low number as far as I'm concerned, because she's right there about in the middle when I think she should be higher. But at the same time, she also gets a poker chip, so <laughs> you can't really complain too much. And then you've got fire. Uh, I mean, you've got like how many spots to fill on this? And uh, yeah, I just love the amount, uh, the, the different characters. The more obscure, the better when it comes to rays. <laughs> and if you can't guess who number seven is, then give up now. Yeah, how would you not have guessed that it was that number seven was going to be ice? <laughs> yeah, she's. I mean, fire and ice, they are a duo, obviously. And uh, then we move on to number eight, which this kind of gives you a sense of how crazy we have gotten that they put Harley Quinn as number eight. Why would they not use her as the Joker? I have no idea, um, but. Harley's always been hot, but she progressively, progressively moved into the crazy spot that she's in now. And mind you, this is several years old. I don't remember exactly when this uh, set came out, but I think it was around the tens. So, yeah, it's it's pretty old, and Harley has come quite a ways since then. She was already huge, but now it's like even bigger. And number nine goes to Barbara Gordon Bat Batgirl. So you know that the people coming are the big hitters because how could they not be? The 10 and Jack, Power Girl and Supergirl. This one's crazy one to talk about because they are basically the same person just from alternate dimensions. And uh, yeah, it's fitting. I... I you would think that anybody with the S on their chest is going to be higher in a DC-related thing, but this is the women of DC, and as far as Superman's counterpart, either one of these can fill the role, and uh, I mean, he is Superman, so he's their flagship character. If he wants to get two women <laughs> instead of one, that is his female counterpart, whatever the equivalent as far as the female... I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's get on. We still got two more characters to go, and you could probably guess who they are. And yes, when you go to the hierarchy of DC Comics, it's you've got the Holy Trinity, which is Batman or Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. And obviously, the top three cards in this deck are going to symbolize that. You've got. Supergirl or Power Girl, which they're essentially interchangeable, depending on what age of the character you want to be playing, representing Superman. And then for Batman, who else? I mean, yes, he's got Batgirl. Yes, he's got Batwoman. 
But, I mean, Catwoman was there from the very beginning. She's been a friend. She's been a foe. She's, she's just always been there for him. And it's where she belongs. And then you've got Wonder Woman, who, let's face it, as far as DC women goes, she is the top of the mountain. You don't get any bigger. You don't get any better. She, she's just, she is the be-all, end-all. She is... She's not the first female superhero, but in DC, she most definitely is. And she has never relinquished that throne. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed that little walkthrough of the cover, Girls of DC Comics poker set. Um, that was one of those things that once I saw it, I had to have it. It is several years old, and mm, I don't really... Uh, yeah, it's uh, and yeah, so much is still in the plastic just because even if I wanted to use it, I'd be afraid to use it. So I've got I've got just enough if I actually wanted to play it, I could, but I wouldn't have the chips spilled out everywhere. Another little bit that I have uh, that I've kind of kept with this thing is I have a and I got this in a. I don't remember where, but it's a little poker chip. Uh, it's for Wayne Casino, which would be a new 52 thing. Or no, that would be a Flashpoint thing uh, when Wayne owns a casino. And it's a $500 chip. It's got the little bats on there. Um, and I kind of keep it in there because what else am I going to do with it? Um, so there's a little bonus. And... Uh, Give you a good look at that, the, the front and the back and everything. And, uh, and yeah, we will, I will see you very soon with the next little surprise. That's so silly. But I want to see you back here very soon. And I hope you're having a great day and I can't wait to see you back.